So, you're a photographer, graphic designer, animator, and you're looking to upgrade your monitor, but you kind of wonder, should I buy something which it's uh, made back in 2015, and is it good enough for the price? Well, today I'm gonna show you the Bank BL2420PT monitor, specially made for creators in mind, for photographers, designers, animators, and also cut and come ready. And the best of all, the monitor, it's in a fantastic price range. So, if you're one of those people and you've been wondering for a while, should I buy this monitor or not? The full review and overview of the monitor, it's coming right now. Okay guys, the monitor is just behind me. We're gonna jump in soon to show you a few things and uh, give you more overview and tech spec and show you some things about the goodness of this monitor. But first of all, I wanna say I bought this monitor a month ago. And if you didn't watch the video, you can check here in the card or I'll put link in the description. I post video a month ago when I bought it and it was just overview of assembling the monitor. And nothing really fancy, just basically showing the monitor out of the box. However, even if it's not related, in this video I said I'm going to use the monitor for a month and then I'm going to give you my honest review because just to disclaimer, just to make it clear for everyone, I'm not a tech reviewer, okay? I don't do reviews. I may do in future on this channel, but in the moment I'm not doing any reviews on any products. However, after a month of using this monitor and as a user, photographer and graphic designer, I think it's probably the best what you can get from somebody like me who actually use the monitor and it's not just going through whatever tech specs coming from the website and just uh, giving you tons of information. I'll give you the basics and I'll let you know why I really like the monitor and why I actually plan to buy a second one. So. Let's dive in. So here we go guys, this is the monitor inputs and outputs located on the bottom of the monitor. So you have the DVI-DL connection, you have the HDMI version 1.4, you have the display port version 1.2 and you have DSUP or as we know it VGA. Then you have line in and out, this is basically you can connect uh, your monitor to your computer to have the audio in and out, or you can have then your speakers going out through your monitor if you're using, for example, studio monitors. Then the best things which I found about this monitor and I'm using it, and it's kind of a really good option, is the USB slots. So you have one USB stream, which is upstream, and this is when you connect to your laptop or computer, and then you have two USBs downstream. And uh, recommended by Bank, uh, they're type A USBs, so it's USB 2. They're not powerful like the USB 3. So I will suggest to use them for something like a wireless keyboard or a webcam. I do exactly the same and it's fantastic because it's giving me free ports on my laptop so I can use for something else. So here is the front view of the monitor. It's 23 point inch on a diagonal and it's 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels and it's QHD resolution. Basically what it is, it's a 2K resolution. So you have concentration of pixels which is giving you absolutely fantastic clear image when it's come to design and photography. Also it's factory calibrated, it's coming 100% sRGB and complying with the REC 709 color space also, just to mention, it's IPC technology monitor and it's a matte finish so you don't have any glossy reflection, any weird things when you're working on the monitor. On top of everything, it's a cut and cam ready. This is mean people who are working on cut and cam have more high contrast so you can see very good details and precise design when they're working with the monitor. The color accuracy and the resolution is absolutely outstanding because as I mentioned it's 2K QHD high resolution. So this is mean it's offering you absolutely fantastic clarity and fine details and very good depth when it's come to animation, visual effects, graphic and photos. Okay guys, 
I'm not gonna go and read all the description or telling you every single uh, aspect of the monitor and everything what it's coming because you can easily go on the bank website and go through all the specification but from user point of view like me like photographer and graphic designer I do love a few things about this monitor and I want to tell you that for the price range which is between 200 to 230 dollars you're getting absolutely bargain. you're getting something uh, which is absolutely amazing and you can have absolutely 100% confidence that you're gonna work fantastically and you're gonna deliver your projects in the best quality possible. So just to mention, if you want to ask any questions, particular questions, which I probably didn't cover in this video, make uh, sure you leave me a comment and I'll reply to you. Also, if you think watching the video through the video, it's helpful and you find uh, the, the answer which you're looking for, or at least it's helping you to decide what monitor to go, make sure you hit the like button and of course, subscribe to the channel. So Let's go back and let me just show you a few more quick things. Now, just as I mentioned before, you have the Rec. 709 color space, which is the standard for HDTV and uh, the monitor. Let me just highlight here so you can see the color space. It's 100% sRGB. Now, as you can see also, it's 78.4 NTSC and the standard for NTSC is 75%. So this is going above. It's basically performing absolutely fantastic in any situation. So a good thing with this monitor is that first of all, you have a quick menu on the bottom and uh, you can set up all your settings there with the monitor. So the second good thing is then the, the monitor is coming with a lovely software, which basically it's coming on the CD in the box, but you can download from the bank website and it's called Display Pilot. What the display pilot do is giving you the options to set up different presets, color presets with your monitor, to partition your screen. Uh, you can uh, enable like an echo mode. If you're watching now, the monitor is going to turn off any moment because I'm not in front of it. So it's have a nice infrared in the front. So if you de decide to leave your desk and for something, don't worry, you just leave, the monitor is gonna go and relax. Soon you come back and sit down, it's gonna come back. Also, as I mentioned, it's doing uh, fantastically color spaces. So in this software, you can set up different color spaces. For example, for low blue light, the monitor offers low blue light and it's absolutely beautiful. For example, if you're using just for browsing uh, and you don't do any design or photography work, it's having fantastic low blue light so you can rest your eyes course it's also flicker free and the resolution as I mentioned it's 2k with a, that many pixels compressed inside in this 24 inch 23.8 you get fantastic clarity and absolutely amazing details so comparing to the normal IPC panels you're getting pretty much double to that and you get absolutely fantastic pictures so let me show you quick the display pilot so you know what I'm talking about. Right, the Display Pilot, it's a small software which you can download from the bank uh, website. I will leave all links in the descriptions. So uh, one thing I'm gonna mention here, here we go, I will leave the link in the description where you can download, just to let me show you quick because this is very important. When you go on this link, there's a version Display Pilot which it's from 5th of May 2020. Do not download this one. I've tried both of them, the old version and the new one, and the new one have so many of the options cut off, which the old one offer, and I find out it's kind of a making mess with your setting and doesn't perform 100% fantastically. So you have to download the version from 2017. Yeah, old one. But as every time, the old one, it's always worked better than the new one. So here we go. When you open the display pole pilot, you have so many options. I'm going to go very quick, just a few of them, because I don't want this video to be forever. <clears throat> First of all, the source here, this is something which you can set up from your uh, quick menu on the actual screen, but it's showing you what source you're using. I'm connected with HDMI and also I'm using HDMI RGB PC range 
0 to 255, not 16235. So you can change different here, depends if you change it, it's uh, the 16235, it's a little bit more dark in contrast, depends what you want to use. The overscan, do not use it because it's basically doing, uh, the picture is going to go out of the screen, it's pretty much stretching everything. I mean, it doesn't lose any quality, but it, you need to fit in your screen. Then you have the auto pivot. The auto pivot, so you have two options to disable or enable. If you disable it, when you turn the monitor on 90 degree, which I'm going to show you soon, it won't go automatic. But if it's enabled, every time when you decide to work in portrait mode, the monitor is going to swap everything automatic for you. Then the most important maybe here, it's the color range, which you have the different picture modes when you can choose. I usually use my own sRGB and I don't use any of the others. Then you have the color temperature and setting, but these things you're not going to use at all. Okay, so audio, we don't want to talk about audio, nothing to talk about here. You have the ergonomics, which it's giving you reminders. For example, I set up my own every hour for five seconds just to take a break when I want to, you know what I mean? Because sometimes you work and you forget how many hours you've been in front of the screen staring it and you need to take a little rest. The good option which I showed you earlier when the screen go off is the echo sensor. The echo sensor is just here on the bottom. It's a two infrareds and basically when I move away from the monitor it's just gonna shut down. Uh, tools, that is a very good thing. Uh, I didn't do anything but if I press refresh here, it's going to detect pretty much uh, some of the softwares which I'm using uh, or what it's open at the moment on my screen. And because Adobe Photoshop is open, you see it's detected. Google Chrome is open, Nvidia and so on and so on. What is the best here? When you have these profiles, you can set up color mode for each of the softwares and profiles which you're using. And this is fantastic. For example, Photoshop you get sRGB Lightroom, sRGB Premiere Pro, sRGB. But then you want to go and browse something on internet or you want to spend a half an hour on internet, you can set up low blue lights, for example. So soon you switch between the two, the monitor is going to switch the color mode automatic for you. So you don't need to go in your quick menu on the monitor and just switching off every time and just wasting time. You can set up your monitor settings here in the color mode setups for every application and you're just cracking, you just keep going. So let's go back there. So there you go, picture mode, for example, low blue lights you can put for Chrome or for Photoshop, obviously you can put sRGB. Now, uh, I don't use this because I always use sRGB. However, it's a fantastic option and I'm finding a very good uh, thinking from a bank to do this uh, option. So it's when you set up once and if you're busy working, you can just browse between applications, changing the color mode without any worries automatically for you. Then you have the desktop partition. Now the desktop partition, it's uh, basically giving you presets with a different partition you can do on your desktop. So you can use two, three different softwares or uh, browsers or emails or whatever and you can put them each one in different place. Also you can create a, in advanced option your custom partition. Another thing if you look here on the top where is the mouse you're gonna have this small kind of an icon on your browser. So I usually use that because right click and here we go it's detecting my laptop so you can partition my laptop and it's detecting my bank uh, monitor so it can partition my bank monitor. So if I go here and I do partition let's say in a half it's gonna change straight away here as well. Of course as I mentioned you can change from here as well but I don't use partitions sometimes but generally I'm not touching them. Uh, preference, this is just a general preference and obviously presets you can create your own presets here and choose. There's more options on the bottom like presentation mode, cut and come mode, the desktop partition and so on and so on. Uh, coming to Photoshop, let me just open something recent, see what I can open here. So this is the raw image, uh, it's not edited, just want to show you how it's performed. Uh, I'm using it with Premiere Pro, I'm using it with uh, Lightroom 
and uh, definitely going through these softwares maybe you won't see that much on the actual screen when I'm recording the screen however I can tell you it's 100% fantastic working uh, on Photoshop on Lightroom or Premiere Pro or any animation software so with all this saying uh, I can go for ages speaking about the monitor but let's recap a few of the more important things and I think this is the most uh, value information for you when it's come to decide if you want to buy this monitor or look something in this range or when you want to buy or upgrade your monitor one thing I forgot to show you it's uh, the pivot so when it's turned on 90 degree, as you can see, it's turned automatic on 90 degree. Let me just move it. So it's turned automatic on 90 degree. If I put it back, it's gonna come back exactly the same. So here you go. Now you have it, guys. The most important things which I like and which I recommend this monitor for is this one. 100% sRGB, 2560 by 1440 pixels, 2K, so you have fantastic resolution and clarity. So the pivot, which is going 90 degree, portrait, landscape mode, that's another option. The whole connections on the back, you have these upstream USBs and downstream USBs and different connections so you can connect maybe your laptop and maybe another computer if you have, so you can just swap between them. The Display Pilot software, which is absolutely fantastic and it's giving you so much options to set up uh, different presets, different profiles and set your monitor once for all to basically work the way you want. And finally, my monitor at the moment it's on a desk arm, so I bought extra arm with uh, two arms actually because I'm really buying second one, I'm not joking. I'm really buying because I really like it and the price range at the moment it's I found on Amazon even under 200 pounds at the moment so I will leave a few links in the description <coughs> sorry I will leave a few links in the description a few places where you can check the monitor and one thing I didn't mention it's in my first video when I assembled the desktop but this is the stand it's fantastic metal stand very heavy very very strong with a good up and down slider which is really strong so what you can do is basically go up and down pretty much next to your desk and you can obviously turn 90 degree and you can till and pan and everything is just fantastic the stand is absolutely outstanding and there's a small feature on the back here this is to put your headphones on the back if you want or maybe hang out something else however overall the monitor it's absolutely amazing and my 100% recommendation it's go and buy it okay if that's it's what you want to hear from me that's what I'm gonna say go and buy it and I don't have any regret saying it because I've used it for a month and I can say the monitor is fantastic and here I am I think I think that's it for me yeah so guys if you get any value from this video or if you think uh, it's help you to make a decision or at least give you some idea what to look in monitors make sure you leave me a comment like the video or subscribe because uh, i'm gonna do a lot of photography retouching and graphic design videos and i'm gonna use this monitor so you can see it in action how's it going when i'm recording the screen apart from that i wish you fantastic time whatever you do stay safe go do your research and go grab yourself a good budget monitor with quality pictures so you can start creating these images and designs without any worries. For now, I love you and I leave you. Bye bye.